So I received this uh, pendant from my aunt who lives in the UK. I had sent her an Oregon amulet that I made for her that had um, her sister, my mom's ashes, a little bit of her ashes in there. So that was a, uh, you know, something I wanted to get her. And she sent me this. And so I was intrigued, like, what is this? This is, uh, looks like organite kind of. I noticed it has a, like a serial number on the back and it comes from this company in Japan or a Japanese technology at least. I haven't looked into this company too much. Um, let me see the little Wi-Fi thing or maybe that's the sun, I'm not sure. But uh, so I was really intrigued by this. Um, I was like, is this organite or no? And it says optimum energy for peak performance. And uh, so this sounds pretty legit, Japanese technology. You know, a lot, of, a lot of good things come from Japan. So I was intrigued. I was like, well, let's see what kind of magnetism this has because, um, you know, testing organite, you can use plant tests, you can use water tests, you can use, um, you know, how you sleep, testimonials. If you're, if you're, um, if you're, if your animal companions are, you know, sleeping next to them. Uh, there's just a lot of observations you can use. Just mainly it's, it's how you feel and sleep. Um, but another thing you could do is you can get a neodymium disc, the rare earth magnet, and just do a test. And, and you should have, with organite, if someone is claiming it's organite in there and there is no neodymium that sticks, <laughs> it's not organite, it's resin art. And there's a lot of people selling resin art jewelry and call, calling it organite. Um, and so, I guarantee that if you were to do some pretty rigid tests on those uh, resin art, you know, like water freezer tests and, and neodymium disc tests, you would you would you would find that they're not really organized because they don't have enough conductivity, they don't have enough metals, and you need a lot of metals in organite. Now we use a lot of metals, a lot of um, atomized metals, and then also just filings. So. Uh, we also use neodymium discs in all devices. So anyways, I just uh, I don't want to talk too much here, but I just want to show you how I didn't find any sort of magnetism in this, <laughs> like at all. Like it doesn't stick to either side. Um, and again, you, you want magnetism, you know, because we want to be able to pull in the, the dead energy and, and stabilize, convert it, and then repel it out. And Wilhelm Reich found that the metals attract and repel so it's like this scrubbing and he found that the organic component the resin uh, once it's cured uh, it pulls in so we have components pulling in and then we have metals pulling in and repelling and then if you add a rare earth magnet like this one you're increasing the magnetism and just that push pull sort of thing and um, so in my opinion you, you need to have that for it to be proper organized and so this they're not claiming that this is organite which is fine and i'm not again i'm not ripping on this company or anything like that i just wanted to do this test just observe you know it's just an observation that there is no essentially uh, essentially no magnetism that we can pick up on at least with the neodymium on that one and so i just got some some devices of mine that are kind of similar size so this is a root chakra phone shield you would put this on the back of your phone with double-sided tape and there's quartz in there to stabilize the energy, and there's also a small neodymium disc. So you can see right away that we have, I mean, I can't even shake it off. <laughs> I can't even shake it off, I have to take it off. So that's organite, we know that's organite. This is sun disc that I just did opaque. You can see our gold grid in there a little bit. Um, and uh, so we also have a neodymium in there. And yeah, it still sticks, so. I can't even take it off, I have to scrape it off. And then this one is a mini tactical for gifting cell towers. So you want to put this at the base of a tower. Again, so we're pulling in that dead energy that's being emitted from the death tower. And then we're stabilizing it with the quartz and then repelling it back out with all the metals, atomized metals. And so, again, we have so much magnetism that I can't even shake this thing off. All right, and then finally, this is just a freebie that I include with everyone who makes a purchase. Even in the freebies, we have a lot of magnetism. So, just wanted to do this little test here. Again, I've seen a lot of organite artists do these tests, and I just don't like the way they come off. They're kind of like, feel like they're just trying to pump up their product, and 
you know, get more market share and, and they're kind of arrogant and cocky and I definitely do not want to come off that way. I just wanted to just do an observation and like I'm kind of a dork that way where, you know, I do the rainwater test to see what's in our rain. I do the, the hashtag Oro test to see if, if uh, Oro really is adding those ionic bioavailable minerals and the Oro test, hashtag Oro test, prove that. And this is just another one I'm doing. Um, I like to play around with these neodymiums and um, so anyways if anyone has this quantum pendant um, amulet hopefully it works for them and uh, it's just not really showing any magnetic potentials that organite would and so I just wanted to point out that difference and and so it's just something to keep in mind when you're buying a pendant um, and you, another thing to keep in mind is they also um, might not let you know what's actually in this I couldn't figure out what, what this is even made of um, so sometimes some companies won't really tell you though you'll have to dig in and then you'll find that it only has like two things like sand and silver and um, sand and silver are good um, you want to have those in organite for sure but th th those are just two things that are, are in all my devices uh, along with gold and lots of other stuff so um, my kind of rules of thumb for buying organite would be buy someone from if you can't make it you don't want to make it is buy it from someone you trust um, and buy someone who's from someone who's transparent about what's inside. I have a whole page about what's in, uh, you know, every layer um, of, of, of organite. And um, and then you you know you want to also just kind of see if there's there's they do tests or anything like that. And I've I've done water freezer tests, plant tests, negative ion tests, you know, t loads of testimonials. <laughs> And then the neodymium test is also a good one you could use. So anyway, I just hope that helps for everyone who's in the market, to, you know, to look to buy some of this stuff. Um, and obviously this is what I do for a living. So I'm a little bit, you know, like, hey, mine work. But uh, again, I don't want to come off as arrogant and that guy just trying to pump up my products. Um, there's a lot of a lot of good organite out there. Just follow those rules uh, when, you, when you're purchasing. And I think you'll be better off. And uh, you won't regret any of your purchases. So, much love everyone.